So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video. Today guys, I bring you a simple method in earning unlimited money. And I mean, just absolutely insane. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this method is relatively straightforward. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. Uh, I'd probably say that um, the best way is to use the Mistress Sword, which is a blueprint obtained from the Doom Easter Egg. Uh, if you haven't got that yet, I'll link the full guide to that in the video description. It's basically a sword blueprint. You can craft a sword out of it and it does zero damage. But that's what we need. We need a zero damage weapon. You can use your grapple hook also, which uh, would need to be fully upgraded. But as soon as you have a fully upgraded grapple hook, you can take advantage of this. Now towards the end of the game you have the option to either drain a certain city, the end game chess farm, or allow the water to remain there. I can't remember exactly what stage of the game this is at, but it's towards the end of the campaign. Now for me, I obviously chose to have the water remain here, so the chests here that are there, there's 17 hidden chests here, which are incredible by the way, I have to swim to, but they ain't the point of this video. But my friend, and credit to my pal, my Life Crisis, for helping me out with this, opted in to have the water drained, which is what you need here. You need the water here to be drained. If you haven't got the water drained in your campaign, you will have to join a friend to do this. But if you have, you can do this solo, which is even better, because no duping is involved to make that insane amount of money. So come to this area right here, as you can see, it's just below the newfound Lost Lands. Again, this will either be covered in water for you or be drained so you can run around and see the zombies here. They want there to be no water for this to work efficiently for you. And once you are here, guys, you need to look for a zombie, which is like a weird kind of zombie. I don't know its name, what they're called, but they run away from you. They got like a big old dirty growth on their back, but they run away from you. This area is full of other zombies that will chase you and explode and this can be annoying. So the spot I found here is the best in my opinion to find one of these zombies that run away from you where he won't get blown up and it's at the very bottom of this area as you can see on the screen now. Now around here a couple of these enemies do spawn in and what you need to do is obviously take out the other enemies around them but don't use any weapon that will chain onto the, uh, onto the zombie that runs away because we need to keep him alive and that's the point of this. So any weapon that chains damage you don't want to use here just use a normal weapon that chains no damage at all or even better if you can make the zombie run away and you chase him into an area where there's no other zombies you're good to do that but what we did was we just basically killed all surrounding zombies and then we started this farm and what you need to do is guys is use that mystery sword and just beat this zombie and what will happen every time you hit him he drops a blue crystal now using the mystery sword obviously because it does no damage you can just do this forever and it will constantly be dropping those blue crystals it is utterly insane and these blue crystals each sell for a decent amount of money too which is what's great about this now you can use a grapple hook a level 3 grapple hook if you haven't um got the mistress sword yet which does work but i will say you have to be very careful because if you grapple hook them and sling them towards you and they miss and hit a wall or hit another object they will die also the grapple hook is nowhere near as quick as obviously this mistress sword so the mistress sword is definitely the best way in my opinion to do this so yes take advantage of it while you can guys this is absolutely ridiculous in literally two two and a half minutes guys I had 640 plus crystals and as we know these blue crystals sell for 500 each so imagine I'm doing it for two and a half three minutes I'll get 600 of these 600 times 500 is 300,000 guys in two and a bit minutes it's that crazy it really is so yes take advantage of this while you can and i hope you enjoy the video and on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one